Gina Gina here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are finally getting a look at the new expansion Cats and Dogs for The Sims 4 which is super super exciting. I have been so excited for this expansion pack. It has just been an expansion that I've been wanting for so long and I am just excited to get started. And Create a pet is amazing. So I wanted to make a video um, where I created some cats. Um, I also will. Uh, I also wanted to create dogs, but what I wanted to do this time was create uh, the Aristo cats. So like the main characters there, which is Duchess and Thomas Malley and Duchess's three little kittens. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. It was super fun to try and like recreate um, these cats from Aristocats. So I just had a lot of fun. It was awesome. Um, and the paint feature is just amazing. So it's a little awkward like the um, the actual Aristocats have like little eyebrows on them and you know obviously most not dogs, cats <laughs> don't have that. So it was super awkward to try and like paint um, eyebrows on a cat, <laughs> but I think it turned out just fine and it definitely made them look more like the actual Disney characters. Um, so yeah, <laughs> even though it, it, it looks a little strange with eyebrows on a cat, it just sort of makes it look more like <laughs> the actual characters. So yeah, so I'm just playing a little bit around with the colors. I felt like I wanted like an even more white coat for Duchess, um, but that was like the most white I could get this one. And also painting some lashes on her. You can see I'm redoing it like a million times because it's hard to make it look diff uh, not difficult. <laughs> <laughs> to make it look right. Um, so I'm trying it a million times just to, you know, make it look as good as possible because, you know, painting eyebrows, not eyebrows, but you know, also that eyelashes on a cat is also not uh, that easy. <laughs> so, but she has that and she has that really feminine cat look. So I felt like I had to do it for her to look um, sort of like Duchess from Aristocats. I was wondering if I should do all the other cats as well. I honestly forgot right now what they're called. Um, you know, Thomas O'Malley's gang. Um, I wanted to also create those, but it was, it'll be too many cats <laughs> for one video. So I thought like it should just be, uh, Duchess and O'Malley and the three kittens. And I can never remember all of their names. I can remember the girl is Marie. And then the sort of, um, active little kitten is Toulouse. And then the last one is Bellios or something. I'm not actually sure how you pronounce his name. I, it's been a million years since I've watched this movie, so I don't, Actually, no, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Maybe if I said right, Berlioz, let me know in the comments. <laughs> if I don't, uh, you can let me know that too um, and tell me how it's pronounced. Although I don't know how you would write how it's pronounced. I guess if you know how to sort of write with a phonetic kind of uh, pronunciation or something, I don't know, whatever. Um, but here we are trying to create Thomas O'Malley. We've already created Duchess. Um, and O'Malley has got green, no, not green, yellow eyes. Um, and he is a little brighter red than this, I believe. I think I changed his color or have I already done it? Maybe. <laughs> um, but anyways, I just think he looked really, really good. I actually think O'Malley turned out to be the one that looked the most like the Aristocrat characters. Um, so I think Duchess turned out really nicely too, but because I have to like paint uh, eyelashes and all this kind of stuff on her, um, it might not have turned out exactly what I wanted. Um, or not exactly. Well, I don't know. I just think O'Malley was the, definitely the best one. He really ended up looking a lot like O'Malley in the end, and I'm very happy with that. Um, so once I paint his white spots, yeah, okay, I'm brightening his color a little bit, making him a little bit more red like the actual Disney character. I did think I was going to change it a little bit. So he's got a lot of like white 
uh, areas on his body and yeah so I'm just gonna paint that on him so he's got it on his stomach and look how cute they are oh my god I love all these animations and it's perfect that you can post them so that you can paint on them properly because <laughs> otherwise I don't know how I would reach the stomach and paint there um, so yeah that's pretty handy and it's just an amazing feature it really is an amazing feature they've done such an awesome job and I do know that he's got two white spots on his ears. I am going to correct that, don't worry. Um, one thing that I wanted to add here um, to the kittens that was not actually available is that they all have like these little bows um, around their necks, little bow colors. Um, but you can't actually add any bows or colors or anything to your um, kittens, only to the adult cats. So I couldn't add anything to them like that, only to O'Malley and also to Duchess, of course. Um, so yeah, that's why the kittens don't have any colors. Um, otherwise, I would have put like colors and bows on them. Um, but yeah, so... How excited are you guys? Have you got the game yet? Because I am just dying. I was literally going to bed at 5 a.m. last night, um, which is, you know, I usually can't even stay up that long anymore. I used to be able to, but I don't know. I've, I've gotten a little older and then I'm pregnant, so I also get, like, tired very easily. So... Yeah, <laughs> I usually don't go to bed that late, but pets coming out or cats and dogs coming out, yes, please. I just had to play it and I was actually recording this video last night um, while I was sitting and, you know, testing out the game. That was the first thing I did. I went and created these, um, these cats. So I actually wanted to release the video. That was my plan. I wanted to release it like late night so that it would be here for everyone also in Europe when they woke up in the morning um, but the problem was something went wrong with my game or well at least I thought it was with my game so what happened was I finished the video I went into editing and all of that and I also took all the screenshots for like what I wanted to use for the thumbnail and also for display pictures in the end although I actually ended up not using display pictures but like little snippets of um, film but whatever <laughs> I wanted to do that um, and I wanted to upload but I couldn't because the screenshots that I took in create a sim were not actually saving to my screenshots folder that was so weird and I didn't know what to do with it um, and I just tried all sorts of things. First I reset the game, then I reinstalled the game. I obviously removed all of my mods to see if they were causing a problem. Um, so like nothing, absolutely nothing worked, even a clean install. I just didn't understand why. And it was so scary because as a YouTuber, you need your screenshots, okay? <laughs> you need your screenshots. If you don't have those, you are seriously handicapped because you you need those it's important um so i just i just had to figure out a way to fix it but by five five something a.m in the morning i decided to finally go to bed because it was just getting too late and i didn't know what to do and i was just feeling really sad because i really wanted to release this video but then my husband uh, when we were in bed he suggested that I should actually check for um, if there was a Windows update on my computer and that was something that I definitely did not consider at all. Um, so I checked that and here in the morning and it actually was a Sims, uh, not a Sims update, but a Windows update and after updating my system it worked. So I don't know exactly how a Windows update can influence how my screenshots are not saved to the screenshots uh, screenshots folder the way it's supposed to that's super weird but you know computers are strange sometimes seriously i don't know what's going on sometimes it's it's ridiculous but anyways um it's fixed and i'm so happy and thank you to if any of you are watching thank you to all of you who are trying to help me out um that was really sweet of you and i also 
got in touch with Simguru Nick because I thought maybe it was something that has happened after Cats and Dogs came out because it actually worked like earlier in the day when I did another video so I thought uh, it must be it must be Cats and Dogs because it was working earlier and then I installed this game and then it didn't so I didn't understand that but anyways it's fixed and that's it. I should stop talking about that now. So we are currently creating Toulouse, who is this little kitten who looks up to O'Malley. So he really wants to be like him, I think, as far as I remember. Um, like, don't judge me if I get a few things wrong, because I have not watched this art movie for like, I don't know, a million years. So I don't remember everything, but... I was I was uh, looking at a picture that was how I sort of remembered exactly how these characters looked so I tried my best to make them look as they looked in that picture so that ah, I would get it right and as I'm saying super awkward to be painting eyebrows on cats <laughs> and it just takes me several attempts and oh my god that animation <laughs> I just did pooping on the floor that is um very very I was gonna say adorable, it's really not adorable, <laughs> it's really funny though. Um, so yeah, <laughs> you guys should really just have fun in CAS. If you have this expansion, just go into CAS and have fun with all the animations. Go through all the traits that you can give your pets and see what animations and sounds they do when you give them the traits. It is seriously so cute, I love it. So much <laughs> i really do i can't wait to also start building um which i definitely will very very soon i'm also preparing a let's play i've already sort of figured out the story for it um like a couple of days ago i think i actually ended up with the story already um so I'm super excited to get started on that one. I do need to create the characters. Um, I didn't want to do that before Cats and Dogs because I wanted to have all the things that were available in the expansion. And I also want, of course, that family to have a pet. So I didn't make them yet. So I need to make those and I need to make their house and all of that and then we'll get started i'm super excited to get started so here are the sort of um replacements for screenshots not actual screenshots i just thought um you know i wanted these animations too they look so cute look at O'Malley go he's being playful <laughs> it's so goddamn cute <laughs> and here he's stretching and then he's gonna eat because he's tired and he just wants to <laughs> just wants to have something to eat and I love all these expressions it looks so much like him though I think it does at least I hope you guys also think so so it's not just me sitting here being super proud <laughs> of what I made um and that was little Marie and that is Toulouse and then we are moving on to uh Berlioz I hope I'm saying his name correctly I really do but anyways guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you're excited to see it and I hope you're excited to see more because I would love to do more Create a Pet. It's so fun. Um, but enjoy your expansion pack guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.